Hey guys, today we are going to discuss about semi-natural ecosystem. Before moving on, let us discuss that what is ecosystem. The ecosystem is defined as the total physical, chemical and biological conditions surrounding the organisms of any area of the earth. An organism's environment is everything altogether, all other organisms and non-living and physical materials around it somehow influence it. Each and all every element of its environment is its amenity. The organism and each amenity of its environment are interlinked. Each one is in some way dependent on others. And the invisible superpower na- nature in a perfect calculative way maintains the balance among all these elements. Such a complex system of interactions and network is called the ecosystem. There are three types of ecosystems. First one is natural ecosystem. It is an ecosystem not perceptibly altered by humans. Second one is semi-natural ecosystem. It is an ecosystem that has been altered by human actions but which retains significant native elements. The third one is artificial ecosystem which is a man-made system of plants, animals and people living in an area together with their surroundings. Let us now briefly talk about semi-natural ecosystem. Semi-natural ecosystems may range from unaltered species composition to just using the natural background soil and or water by man. In the strictest sense, the species composition is unaltered by man, no species introduced or planted by man. Soil and water management are unaltered but man has to limit it extent influence the natural processes, for example, by taking over the role of natural grazing through in extensive moving or by taking over the role of great predators by fishing in great water. These ecosystems do occur also in natural situations, but then they are limited to areas where natural grazing, erosion by rivers or streams, reverse the natural succession to earlier stages or prevent the natural succession. These ecosystems are rather complex and can be very rich in species numbers if human use has been stable for many years. Almost all ecosystems resulting from traditional forms of agriculture land used as steppe pits, persistas and wooded meadows fall in this category. In these situations, there is a high degree of sustainable use. Sustainable use means the use of an organism, ecosystem or another renewable sources at a rate within its capacity for renewal. Its human changes the species composition keeping at least some native ones, use the natural soil and water conditions. The system may still be called a semi-natural ecosystem. Practically, most forest and water bodies of Bangladesh have turned to semi-natural ecosystems. That's all from my side guys, hope you liked the video, thanks for watching.